how, what about the right to counsel? Why don't they have a right to the counsel that you provide here, for example? Well, before I sort of give you the legalese, I just want to tell you this, that I think it's silly that a 16- Is that the legal term, silly? <laughs> it's not a legal term, but it's, you know, it's silly to expect a 16-year-old from Honduras who doesn't speak English may not have any formal education to explain to the judge why he should be allowed to come to the United States. I say it's silly because I've been practicing law for 14 years and I still struggle to explain to the judge the legal reasons why these kids should be allowed to stay in the United States. So I wanna say that first, that it's silly. Um, and then sort of talk about why our laws say that they don't have a right to counsel, okay? If I were to be really blunt, I would say it's because we don't want to pay for it. But let's sort of assume that that's not the only reason, but that there are constitutional reasons or there are other reasons why we feel that these kids should not have a right to counsel. Or the law says that they can have counsel, but nobody has to pay for it. So basically, they, don't have, they can't have counsel, right? Because if you're coming from Honduras and you don't have any money, and they say, well, we're not saying that you can't bring a lawyer there, but we're just saying we can't pay for it. In effect, you can't have a lawyer there. And the reason why, without sort of going too much into the law, is that um, we regard immigration as a civil proceeding and not a criminal proceeding. We've recognized that people have a right to pay counsel in criminal proceedings, but that we don't necessarily feel that that level of process is due in a civil proceeding. And immigration, the way, so you say, but you're gonna say to me, Uzamaka, but I understand, but they're detained, yes. It looks kind of criminal. Don't they say they do bad things and arrest them, yes. But we've said consistently that none of those things mean that immigration is civil because what means criminal, because what you're trying to do in an immigration proceeding is convince the judge that you're entitled to stay here.